Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur. I just watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and I am so excited about all the new dinosaurs that were featured in this film. Including the one we're covering on today's quick dive, the ferocious. Carnotaurus. So make sure to leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below your favorite dinosaur and let's get right into this quick dive about the Carnotaurus. So Carnotaurus, it means meat-eating bull. Can you guess why? It's because it's got two little devil horned horns on its head and it looked like a ferocious scaly bull. Hey Carno! How long ago and where did you live? I'm not getting much info from that guy. Well, the Carnotaurus, or Carno for short, existed roughly 70 million years ago during the Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era in South America, or what is now Argentina. So that kind of explains its Latin Spanish-y sounding name. Hey Carno, Carno, what did you look like? Well, boy oh boy, was this dinosaur an interesting looking specimen. So the Carnotaurus was a theropod, which you've already explained in other videos, but just to go over it, it just means it's a dinosaur that stands on its two legs and walks upright. A bipedal dinosaur. Guess what, guys? I'm gonna do another side note. So the Carno is really only known from one really, really well-preserved specimen that was found in 1985, so really recently. But this thing was preserved so well that it even gave us skin impressions of this dinosaur. So once again, an amazing find, but it is important to note that all the information given about this dinosaur is based off of literally one animal. So information is definitely limited. But you wanna know how much it weighs? 2,000 to 6,000 pounds. That's roughly how much the Carnotaurus probably weighed. And you wanna know how long it grew? 26 to 30 feet probably. So that's like up there near the T-Rex. This thing was nothing to mess with. But diving even deeper into its appearance, there's two things that are really, really notable about the Carnotaurus. Two horns and two little arms. The arms, from what we know, were pretty much vestigial, which means they were useless. They really had no use. It kind of just dangled off its body and looked like little tiny baby arms. As for the horns, <laughs> <laughs> well, the horns. <laughs> Realistically, we can't tell for sure what the horns were used for, but we can guess anything from mating to fighting to headbutting its prey to try to knock them down to even protecting its eye sockets. It's impossible to tell for sure, but we know that it made this dinosaur look a little bit more awesome. Imagine that, a dinosaur with devil horns running at you trying to chomp you down. Another thing that added to this dinosaur's look is the fact that it was narrow. It looked like the Carnotaurus was practicing a Weight Watchers diet its whole life, maybe only feeding on the light calorie Triceratopses. I'm just kidding, Triceratops didn't exist in that area. Don't hate me, don't attack me, it was a joke. Jeez. But yeah, it was a narrow dinosaur. Even its face was super narrow, looked like a pancake. And as for its skin, <laughs> it had scales, ladies and gentlemen. No feathers on this bad boy, at least from what we know. You never know, it could always change in the dinosaur world. But all jokes aside, we did find scale impressions of this dinosaur when it was preserved. Like we mentioned, the fossil was really, really well preserved. And so there was even scoots, like alligator crocodile scoots on their skin, little bony plates that were found. So we have a really good idea of what this thing actually looked like. And those little bony plates on its back just added to the aesthetic to make this dinosaur look even cooler than what we already thought it looked like. Now let's get into the dinosaur news. How did the Carnotaurus become famous? I'm gonna read this part off the prompter because I can't remember my line. Well, it's the reason we are all here, you know? Your favorite dinosaur movie franchise, which is literally the reason I made this video to explain a dinosaur that is in the very movie franchise I am referencing Jurassic Park. Yep, from what I know, I could only find that the first ever kind of reference of this thing in pop culture was in Michael Crichton's sequel to the Jurassic Park novel, The Lost World. Where in the book, spoiler alert for you who haven't read it yet, there's two Carnotauruses that actually turn invisible when confronting people. Ooh la la. Besides that, the Carnotaurus has always been tied to kind of the Jurassic Park movie franchise, being featured in tons of toys and video games as the franchise was succeeding from movie to movie. Its other most popular role was in the Disney movie, Dinosaur, where it played kind of this red, evil looking devil dinosaur that hunted down all the innocent herbivores and of course in the newest Jurassic Park series movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom we get an amazing looking Carnotaurus and damn it after watching this movie I love it even more huge props to whoever decided to put the Carnotaurus in the new Jurassic World movie all right Let's explore this dinosaur's diet and behavior. So this old devil looking dinosaur had an interesting way of hunting its prey. The fossil suggested this thing had really powerful but flexible jaws, which is really important here. It allowed it to take fast and powerful bites from its prey. We can infer that it was actually able to eat its prey whole, which is so scary. Imagine it just swallowing you up. That is if you were like a little ornithomimus. 
Once again, I don't know if it existed there. I don't think it did. I'm sorry, don't kill me. We have no way to tell what it ate for sure, but we can guess that it hunted on small herbivores and occasionally large herbivores within the area. We should also note that some paleontologists even say that it might have hunted in intervals, meaning that it would take a bite out of its prey and then kind of hang back and wait and do that process over and over again, bringing it to hunt even larger things like sauropods until the attacks weaken this animal to the point of exhaustion and eventual consumption. Yum. Alrighty, that's the Carnotaurus, folks, ladies and gentlemen. That was so much fun. I enjoyed seeing the Carnotaurus on the big screen in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And make sure to remember that you should subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications because in this quick dive series, we're essentially covering every dinosaur from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom series. Also, I want you guys to comment down below your favorite dinosaur or dinosaur that you want us to see us cover. Give us a dinosaur size thumbs up. And if you like this channel, you can support us by sending us a donation on PayPal. The link will be in the description. Your next dinosaur dinosaur is going to be the Stiggy Moloch. I know you guys are excited for the old Stiggy, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!